All right, now we've got our oil and compression rings set. We're gonna do the corner seals and the side seals. Pretty much load everything up with Vaseline, mostly to hold pieces together so when we put this face of the rotor down on the iron, nothing falls out. Vaseline on all the sides and edges of the rotors so initial startup doesn't scuff your freshly ground iron. Yeah, you want to make sure you put that in the right way. Pink dot up. I almost made a mistake. And I take my little screwdriver -y tool here and make sure that that corner seal spring isn't twisted in the groove, otherwise, you won't be able to get your apex seals in. I made this mess. You notice here I've got my side seals all numbered and pre clearanced. I wrote on each face of the rotor the corresponding groove number. Every OEM part has a color on it, pink, to indicate up. Whenever you see the color, the color goes up. You see the pink tip corresponds to the pink dot on the corner seal. That is called ISO 9000 plus process. All right, now, I'm going to number these in descending order 12, 11, and 10 around this face of the rotor. So I have to deal from the back of the deck, so to speak, 12, 11, and 10. Use painter's tape so the glue doesn't stick to the parts, obviously.
yeah. Gotta be careful not to let those side seal springs get pinched. Otherwise the seal won't move. And there we have it. I take an old apex seal and double check the corners.